Hi, my name is David Melby. I'm a board certified music therapist. I have been for 15 years and it has been my pleasure in recent years to use the Reverie Harp that you see here. Uh, I'd like to give you a short demonstration of how I use it and how one can expand one's repertoire, particularly when you use the two chord lullaby tuning. Some of you know, uh, when you usually when you buy a Reverie Harp, it's uh, the, the tuning of all the strings is in this C pentatonic arpeggio throughout all the strings. So you have just one marvelous complex chord, um, and that's called the reverie tuning. If you retune only about a handful of strings on the right side, as you face at the right side of the instrument, you get this chord. I think of it as a tension chord leading back to home. The way you might analyze that tension chord is you could call it a plagal chord for 4 1 or Amen. Amen. With all the complexity and the richness of the chord, you could call it a D minor 7 or D minor 9 suspended. Uh, you could use it as an F chord. You could use it as a dominant chord, dominant 7 or G7. What you don't have, because the left side is C, of course, the home chord, what you don't have when you think of it. Uh, as a dominant seven chord, or you're playing a song that uses a G7, you don't have a B note. Um, you just add it in your voice. It's going to fight a little bit with the C in here, but we can all handle that, and as, as can your clients or those that you're playing for. Um, so, uh, a, good, a little demonstration of um, songs that you can use uh, in this tuning. You can simplify songs that are more complex. And again, because you might have the sound in your ear, it will make sense, I promise you. I'll give you some examples. Uh, we'll draw from a few different categories so you get a sense of what you can do with this chord. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. So I also love having the tension there. Well, it'll come again. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And again, Amen. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Listen to that wonderful reverb and that sustain. So you just heard me double the melody there. How great! There's no B, just put it in with your voice, the leading tone. Thou resolve it all. That's the way I like to use that with that song. One other quick example would be uh, our favorite Christmas song, mine that is. Silent night, holy night. Another tension chord and note here. All is calm and back home. All is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child. Holy infant so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in songs are possible, from Frere Jacques to Mary Had a Little Lamb to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, How I Wonder What You Are. You see me use 
some plucking technique there just for shorter chord changes. You can also strum. Here's a little left turn. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. Sing and don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright. So the sky's the limit with expanding your repertoire with this tuning. Country folk. Um, one other quick example. I love you for sentimental reasons. I hope you do believe me. I'll give you my heart. You know, Joe, this is a little low for me, so I just changed the melody around a little bit so it fits better in my voice. Just adjust it as you need and as you see fit. One other example. Here's the world of classical but also of spiritual. Uh, the Dvorak uh, Largo melody, second movement of the New World Symphony, going home, became the spiritual going home. Um, you'll see me arpeggiate out and in, which you've seen already. I'll pluck some interior strings to make a more rich chord and add a melody in here and there, for instance. La -da -da, you're going to hear. -da -da. So I'm going to add that B in there for the richness on the home chord, kind of a C major 7. This is a little improvisation. You can always improvise in between songs in the lullaby tuning. Okay. Oh, well. 